I like the variation you can get in the mountains, both in summer and in winter. In the winter you can spend one day of skiing and just looping the lifts, jumping some cliffs, having fun, and then the next day you can go out on a ski tour all by yourself, surrounded by huge mountains, good snow, nice weather, or bad weather for that instance. And next day you can be on an ice route somewhere and struggling, hanging on for dear life, but it's kind of, kind of fun, you can get the variation. Since me and my brother are from the south of Sweden, it's about three hours of driving to the closest decent ski resort. That means it only, it's only thanks to our mom that we actually got to ski when we were kids. Until I was 16, 17, I did about a week a year. And then uh, after school, I went to St. Anton in Austria for one winter season. Winter after that, I went to Chamonix for the first time. I ended up doing four seasons. And it's pretty much here that I learned everything about skiing and mountain that I know. To be able to ski as much as possible, uh, I did the same thing as many other people are doing. Uh, I knocked on different doors in the ski resort to find a job. Uh, an evening job, of course, you can go up in the mountains every day. And uh, doing that for two or three years, I realized that I wanted to spend the rest of my life in the mountains, one way or the other. So I applied for the Swedish Mountain Guide School. I started that for a little bit more than a year ago and will keep on doing the courses and exams until I pass, I guess. <laughs>